Hey, good afternoon. It's uh, afternoon, that's right. Tuesday, January 21st. Time for an everyday thought. Had a really busy morning this morning, so I wasn't able to get to you this morning. But still have something I want you to think about for the balance of the day and maybe even beyond. We talk a lot about our comfort in God. And so we say things and read, as from Romans 8, as we should, that if God is for us, who could be against us? And that has a great deal of comfort for us because there's many, there are many things pressing down on us in life, hard things, sickness, loved ones close to us who are sick, or they have a difficult time, or there's some other constraining issue or problem that they face, problems that you and I face in that way. So we say this, this, quote this passage from Paul, and we say, if God is for us, who can be against us? And that's true, but we need to have some balance to it, some strength to it. Because what does it mean that God is for us, and what does that tell us about God's character? In our Bible study tonight, for our group that meets at our church here in South Carolina, uh, we're going to be looking at 2 Samuel 6, and I'm deeply indebted to Dale Ralph Davis and his commentaries. If you don't have them on the, the Old Testament stories and narratives, uh, the history books, get them, because they are worth their weight and beyond gold. They're really, really good. So in this particular passage we're looking at tonight, Davis makes this observation about God because some disturbing things happen in this chapter. But Davis says, this 2 Samuel 6 passage teaches you and me that a fearful sense of God's holiness doesn't suppress joy, but stimulates it. A fearful sense of God's holiness doesn't suppress joy, but stimulates it. Now, that's kind of contrary to the way that we normally think. If we're fearful about something and the holiness of God and we, we see that he is a God that is not to be messed with but to be obeyed and honored because he is holy, that kind of makes us draw back within ourselves and we fear that. But if I know that God is holy and I'm going to, I know that he's going to uphold his holiness and I know that he is committed to his holiness, then I can have joy that God is going to do what is best for me, for those around us whom we love, those who are sick, those, those of us struggling with really difficult things. So as I contemplate God's holiness, I see my own weakness and my own sin, but I see that God is in the business of rescuing us. I see his holiness as an extension of his beautiful character and his commitment to us and the power the power to honor his holiness, then this idea, if this holy God is for me, then I'm safe. If God is for us, who can be against us? If your holy God, the God who is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and the power of his mighty spirit are for us, nothing can stand against us. And that's a really good thought to have on this day. Lord willing, we'll be back tomorrow morning on Wednesday. Thanks so much for being here on this version of Everyday Talk. And if you want, go ahead and subscribe and tell others about it because this is a real joy to be with you each day for these thoughts. You have a great day. Bye-bye.